Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 16th of 2020, well, it is titled NGC 6814 Grand Design Spiral Galaxy from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of what is called a grand design spiral, which is essentially a great spiral galaxy where we can see very distinct and prominent spiral arms. Now many galaxies we see the spiral arms are distorted by interactions. The fact that this one has not distorted at all simply means it has not had an interaction in the recent past and has had time to settle back down to an ordinary spiral structure. So other galaxies that we see that are distorted may eventually come back to this state as well. So essentially, these grand design spirals are just some of the most beautiful spiral galaxies that we see. Now this image was taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and we can see a number of things here including the blue stars scattered in the outer regions in the spiral arms. The spiral arms are the region where the stars currently form and when stars form they are uh, primarily dominated by the blue stars which emit the most energy and the most light. So even though other stars are forming there they are dominated by the much brighter light of the blue stars so the spiral arms will look distinctly blue in color signifying that star formation. As we go further in we start to see a lot of domination by more older stars which would be evolved into red giant stars and these that would then dull the color and as you can see it goes from a blue very very deep blue in the outer regions of the spiral arms to lesser blue as you get closer in almost to a white and into a yellow as you become dominated by some of the older stars as you get down towards the central bulge and core of the galaxy. Now what we cannot see at the center of the galaxy is a black hole. It is present there and probably is something millions of times the mass of our sun. And that is typical for spiral galaxies like these. So in a very massive black hole and that is has material swirling around it and will then eat the eat material as material is consumed by that black hole and that gives off a lot of energy. Now the black hole cannot give off uh, energy itself once anything crosses what we call the event horizon of the black hole nothing can be known about it because nothing can escape from that point. However as it spirals in outside that the stars and the gas that are being torn apart will give bursts of x-rays and other material that can signify and tell us that there is indeed a black hole there and making measurements of that will allow us to determine that it is about 10 million times the mass of our sun. And while that may seem incredibly massive, we also have to cons consider that it is relatively small compared to the mass of the galaxy itself. So that black hole is not the dominant gravitational force of the galaxy, as there are many billions of, of stars there. So the overall mass of the galaxy is many, many times the mass of that black hole at the center. However, with that much mass compacted into such a small space, it is responsible for a decent amount of the energy that is coming out of the core of the galaxy that we see. So that was our picture of the day for August the 16th of 2020. It was titled NGC 6814 Grand Design Spiral Galaxy from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.